We can make that happen again. Yeah, should we get it seven. going? You count down from six? What is? Oh wait, yeah. What is a six count? Six counts. Like why goodness. does Riverside so count down from six? Wow. It used you know to it used to count down from the three. I don't know. Bizarre. In a way, I sort of respect it. You know, I like a little bit more time to get settled and. Get yeah. <laughs> three, need three second. Second. Like, too quick. If you're if you're startled by the hitting record, <laughs> it gives you a couple extra seconds. <laughs> Exactly. So have we so have we truly figured out if we're doing? Oh, oh he's gone. He's He'll gonna make an entrance. Oh yes, I love oh, it. Is this is a bit. bit. <laughs> it's a bit. It's a bit. I love that for him. <laughs> the anticipation is um, killing me. There he is. It's just in. Hey, the Wi-Fi in the desert sucks. This oh. just in. Breaking news. Desert Wi-Fi in not the desert? great. I'm in Palm Springs right now. Dessert. Oh, wow. Dessert. Fancy. Working. What are you oh, wow. what are you sipping on? Um, I'm sipping on a whiskey mule oh. from Ooh, okay. the Cutwater family. Use I, code I like Brad30 that. for 30% off of Cutwater. <laughs> you know, I'm a sucker for a mule. Let me tell you, ginger beer and lime are undefeated. Mm. Honestly, True. I completely agree. I it agree. Like, checks all um, the boxes. It's a great drink to have when you're really hungover mm-hmm. and can't possibly drink anymore. Mm. Hair of it's the good, mule. It's a good summer drink. Yeah. So have we actually determined if this is who, whose podcast we're doing right now? I think, isn't it? Are we just going to cross and do it? Like, you it's know, just a cross record cross one. Record cross one, one yeah. We both put it out. <laughs> Love it. It's so just, I can, it's, I'll it's say that it's, it's, you know, Jen it's a collab a episode. I'm not up. saying. Yeah, I've got, a, I've got a, you have an intro? A, oh. I've got an intro, but I think that we should all go too so i'll i can like throw it to people if that's helpful throw it's rock and roll because i mean this could get kind of wild this you is, know what i mean like this jen is, this is your show like, this is categorically <laughs> against best practices we like, were told yeah, that, no. that it was like you know two people is probably the best like three gets a little busy like four is out of control like don't even five. think about five and here Mayhem. we are we're crazy we're, we're wild the- you guys that's right. <laughs> Organized golf chaos. Demons, actually, Brad. Or the working title for this one, Golf Demons. Golf Demons. Okay. <laughs> I'm with it. I'm like, with I it. like when you can um, interpret it a few different ways, you know? It's like, oh, are we fighting right. golf demons? Are we the golf demons? Are the Saudi <laughs> golf demons. Oh, <laughs> Foreshadowing. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> anyway, okay, I'll do I'll That's do a teaser. That. So what is up, sports fans? It's not a podcast until we said um, Welcome to a podcast episode unlike any other. This is a special collab episode with Gruder Golf, which tonight is Haley. Hello, hello. And me, Jen. Um, shout out to Kiki. She's on vacation. Uh, friends from the podcast Group Golf Therapy. Um, and that consists of Connor Lobbins. Hello. At the Bag Bandit. Yes. <laughs> a laugh and um, yeah hold for applause <laughs> drew westfall at everyday drew hello uh, say hello at else and then everybody yeah i didn't know what to do um i don't know what to do with my hands bradford hey bradford wilson golf um and hello because you are you have the distinct honor of being our very first repeat guest so I know this is wow. a collab episode. Whoa. I don't know if it counts, but where's this the is... horn? Yeah, like, and that's within six months too, or one calendar year. Wow. So congratulations. Year, yeah. Um, congrats. Send Brad. me an address to um your trophy too. Oh my gosh, look at that! I, Do you have a uh-huh. speech? <laughs> uh, yeah, not trying to dox you. Um, <laughs> that's kind of all we had for the intro. I figured though it might be helpful for the for our, our collective audiences to get to know you know what who the heck um so drew you nodded first so so let's start with you give <laughs> give the people people and then maybe even you know the group call therapy people might not have checked in, in a while on your on your wikipedia page say open, <laughs> open up drew well i actually don't have a wikipedia page yet um but i do have an imdb page so you know oh. you can find me there really? <laughs> i i i, I appeared in a meet uh, yeah, <laughs> I uh, I appeared. Um, my name is Drew Westfall. I appeared in one music video, and I got IMDb credit for it. 
Um, wow. And I think I, I think I got paid like fifty dollars, but um, that was very exciting. So I know Brad's a... IMD I, Brad's IMDb is probably a little bit more robust than my own, but um, I am I am there. So what was the music video? It was a music video by the band called The Listening Party. They're a, a local band in in Wisconsin, and the song was called oh. Bones. I play a, a bus boy slash dishwasher in the music video. Mm. So two jobs. Yeah. Catch catch That's me on YouTube. Fun fact. Yeah. Well, you got double <laughs> IMDb. That's hard to do. You know, I uh I don't even know what I think it just says that I was like huh, just a just a extra or something. So <laughs> yeah. Talent. Bus boy one. Talent. I am the talent. Um hello, Gruder Golf. Uh, fans, <laughs> patrons, listeners, s- subscribers. Um, so I'm Drew Westfall. I'm uh, one third of the shrinks of group golf therapy. Um, but I primarily exist online as a fashion writer slash creator. And most recently dove into the world of, of golf. Um, it's It's been a passion of mine my entire life. I took some time off from golf almost a decade and fell back in love over the pandemic found my two co-hosts bradford and connor who you'll meet in just a second and here i am just plugging away at the internet every day drew that's me okay that was that was perfect that's tough act to follow um that was beautiful yeah that was beautiful. Maybe better but can you introduce yourself as well <laughs> after pressure um I'm most notably known um, for my. Uh, so, thank you, Drew, for <laughs> leading us into that. <laughs> um, though you can see me in Insecure season two, episode four. Uh, I'm, wow. I'm also. Wow! I did not know that. <laughs> I didn't know that. I Wait, I didn't know idea. that. I'm going to watch that right after this. That's it's not on our movie. Uh, you kick it with Issa. <laughs> I saw Issa kick someone out of her lift. Counts. Cool. That still counts, yeah. Yeah, it, it counts. Did we get <laughs> have a celebrity um, gossip podcast? I'm in love with this guy. <laughs> um, oh. Uh, <laughs> no, we, uh, I, um, I, I do a lot of things, mostly run my mouth on the internet, though. Uh, in the last, I'd say, to like dial it back. Huh. You, you've always been out here. We've, we've, <laughs> we've been a little stressed, but um, uh, creating golf content is a passion of mine. Um, you can see me on your television screens probably in some commercial. Or if you watch the golf channel, you'll probably. Point. Um, and I really love group golf therapy. And Connor and Drew are not only my work husbands, but two of my best friends. And this is uh, this is my favorite thing of all wow. the things. I can do, favorite. That's high praise, Connor and Drew. Yeah, that's, that's so wonderful. Ditto that. And it's re- it's reciprocated. <laughs> Lovely. Okay. Well, all I, all I hear when I listen to the Gruder Golf podcast is you guys shit on each thing. other. <laughs> <laughs> um, my name is Connor. I, um, as previously mentioned, am on the internet at the Bag Bandit, which is a um, a reference to the Caddy Shack. Um, caddying is what got me into golf originally when I was in sixteen in Boston. Um, and now I'm a, I'm a a writer, (laughs) Echo Bees. Um, I'm a writer in the golf space for a couple different golf publications. Although recently I've had like Fran Lebowitz level writer's block. So I haven't been really churning out as much as I'd like to. Um, I'm also a a co-host or a shrink of group golf therapy and, um, I'm a PR consultant on the side. Oh, wow. That's, that's it. Short and sweet. These are all jacks of all trades, really. Very fascinating. Jenny, yeah, you got a really want an IBD page. Green room. Like, can we talk <laughs> about <do>. that? <laughs> well, you know how, what? How golf I'm is glad that? that you... Right. 
Well, I mean, I guess I guess I'll introduce myself. I also love working with Haley and Kiki, so I I love my co-host too. <laughs> Brownie points. I've friends with them for like ten years. So just we don't say as many nice things, I don't think, but maybe that's something to play tea with. Um, but to wheel it back a little bit, yes, my name is Ken calling in tonight from Boston, Massachusetts in my my green room. Um, it's the Benjamin Moore Deep Jungle. So if you want to look it up, get a sense. Um, I recommend, and apparently um, Drew just told us that Emerald is the – so ahead of the curve on that one. Um, nice. Haley, Gruder, and myself, um, uh, and Don Donna Donnelly, Gruder an events and media company, the media being this podcast right now, um, and having an Instagram <laughs> account. Um, <laughs> and we run events, um, and it's all kind of designed towards getting space into playing golf um, because we and didn't start. more fun golf. Mm. Like, and making golf more fun and kind of just making it, you know, whatever you want. <clears throat> different yeah. for everybody, and it's it's fun. I think that's something that the, the G as well kind of making golf your thing hashtag mind your golf which i but before we really get into it Haley, did i miss anything about your own thing too yeah no i mean well first and foremost <laughs> i really want to create a gruder golf wikipedia page now we you definitely can do that should. right as community yeah. source right mm -hmm. i think that's yeah. gonna be my homework leaving this call and watching uh season two episode four of insecure um, <laughs> <laughs> one can be done while doing the other Right, true. Multitask. Uh, but no, you hit everything on the head, uh, Jenny, with a nail. Nail on the head? <laughs> with a nail. Whatever. Um, thank you. Um, I'm calling from Dallas, Texas. New new residence for me. Uh, Brad, since we talked last, at least. Um, and yeah, Gruder Golf is, is really just on a mission to make golf cool and fun for everyone, no matter what your background is and your skill level. And I think Jenny, Kiki, Don, and I are all living proof of that, having picked up golf five years ago uh, and still pretty much sucking at it. Um, <laughs> Hashtag stay back. <laughs> we, we like to show people that you don't have to be good or get better at golf to enjoy it or be obsessed with it. And uh, that's what this podcast, I think, aims to do is to show people just that we barely know anything about golf, yet me weekly talk about it. Um, so we are thrilled to be here with all of you and, uh, thrilled to spread more misinformation across the internet around, uh, <laughs> random golf facts and tournaments and people and things like that. Yeah, yeah please like, fact check all of this. Like, don't believe anything that we say on here. People on their Twitter bio is like, opinions are my own. Like, opinions are my own. Are yeah. 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 All my opinions. Yeah. These are all of our opinions. Don't blame Listen. our company. Please. Don't fact check the damn thing. That's right. Yeah. Not while we're in general. Record, like, no. I have one yeah. tab open. It is this? I'm not. I'm not fact checking anything. That's well, too much dead yeah. air. That's a radio term. Um. Okay. We can. That's a radio term. <laughs> it's a radio term, you guys. <clears throat> um. I actually wanted to. Um. I wanted to brag because I just purchased. Um, a print, and I'm really excited about it. And I think that you should Aww. about the series because I thought it was really cool, and I'm so excited. And I might buy them all, honestly. <laughs> Jen, tell, us, tell us what it is. It's hard to pick. It, it was really it's hard to pick. I mean, like nothing, nothing prevents you from getting all three. But I also loved kind of the missions that you guys had for all, you know, and whatnot. So. Um, I don't know First of all, thank you. That's that's yeah. amazing support, and what a what a plug. Um, so we two weeks ago, I think we released um, an artist collaboration series um, with three different graphic artists in the golf space: Tony Napton, Chris Cavanaugh, and uh, Luke Schaffner. Um, all three of whom are like beautiful, stunning visual artists um, who make like graphic designs. And the three of us have been talking about doing merch for a long time um but i think we getting into the holiday season we were just like i don't know if we really want to do like a hat or a t-shirt we were thinking about doing something a little bit more um hopefully meaningful because i think that's like the nature of our podcast is to engage with golf in a meaningful way and and in a reflective way um so we reached out to these artists and they spun up three incredible prints 
um, and those are on sale. All every single cent of profit is being donated to three different mental health related organizations across the nation. We each picked a different mental health organization that we're supporting. Um, and yeah, we've been we've been killing it with with print sales. And then now uh, well. Jen, Jenny, Jenny Coco <laughs> added to the list. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah Jen, really so thank cool. you because they're cool. Which one did you get, Jenny? Looking for pops of color. I got the Chris Cavanaugh one. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, I love like that. yeah, 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 yeah. So good. Yeah. Is that going on? I, wall? I can continue to just kind of like. Oh yeah, definitely. Because I wanted to do warm. Oh yeah. You... Black and light or warm tones on here, so I've got some black and whites already. And like cool things to myself: portrait from college. Oh. Uh, Ooh. You get house. <laughs> um, a psychic that. painted that. Um, so you know. You know, meaningful stuff up here. This is the other stuff can go downstairs. You know, we can do the basement. I was just looking at those walls today. Um, What's going to take the spot right behind your head? Though? This is. See, this is should your I have setup. anything right behind my head that distract people too much? <laughs> so I think I was going to have one. It is prime real estate. To like, yeah, I don't. That's that's something you could maybe this. You could have a, a Gruder golf print. <laughs> maybe a mural. Well, should I paint a mural above your head? That would actually be really cool. I'd like something abstract. Abstraction, but it can be a conversation piece if it needs to be. You know what I mean? Like, right. what's the deal with that? But we like, we could do green on know. green. We could do like a darker green on top of the wall, so it's like kind of subtle. Oh mm. wow, that might be really nice. I don't like that. Yeah, just brainstorming here. I'm constantly. I'm always accidentally during work. Uh, logging in as Gruder Golf from like the night before or something and it's <laughs> kind of embarrassing because one thing about golf is that it like it can it's like oh, yeah like I do the golf business on the side and it's like that if you don't know what the golf business mm -hmm. is and like kind of how much of a joke it is that might sound like one thing but like it's I'm always like it's right. like um to expand the game and to like, get <laughs> and I'm just kind of trying to rush through it before that's so true. I, I find that any anybody that I talk to about like what I do for work, I find that I always have to like um, qualify it at the end. I'm like, yeah. I work in golf, but like it's meant to like get people into the game of all different <laughs> right. backgrounds and creeds and races and religions and all of that. And and it's <laughs> it's such a necessary evil, unfortunately. So I feel you. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, yeah, I feel like you, know, you kind of like have to talk about it. You, you can't, can't just leave, leave it at, oh, yeah, like I work in golf. Like you need to say what you're doing. Uh, certainly for the five of us here, who are like part right. of the, the the waves of change, like that needs to be said. Because just right. surface level, yeah. like, oh, I work in golf. They think you're like everyone else. Yeah. Yeah. You, well, you think oh, so you're an you asshole. Know, that's what I yeah. thought. Yeah. Perfect. That's what I thought before. I <laughs> you're <played. laughs> conversation you're a, over. You're a yeah, rich like, asshole. Uh, okay. Yeah. Got it. Oh, you're a big yeah. golf. Oh, you golf. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Conversation that, you know, over. You think it's so expensive and you think that it's like, do you want to do that? I was a car girl and I literally just remember thinking like, this every day. Like, how do these people play this? Mm -hmm. They come to the same place every single day and they do this. Like how bored do you have to be? <laughs> Turns out. Yeah. Turns out the Very joke is bored. on me. As usual. <laughs> As usual. What was your experience oh, actually, like? before... Is that it? On the... I feel like we no. could go. <laughs> you could go deep on this. You're right. <laughs> it... Well, I, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, first I did it for three summers. The first summer I was like, this is amazing. I mean, it is at the end of the day, like a service industry job. So it has a lot of the pitfalls of like waitress. Like people are assholes to you. Like people don't tip you. People are like very demanding. Mm and act like you can get them whatever they want because you're at like a resort and you can't, you know, like we don't have that. Um, mm -hmm. And then like going up, I didn't know, like now seeing all the like cart girl, like memes and like, you know, like, oh, like my friend's always hitting on the cart girl. Like, yeah, that happens big time. And it's equally embarrassing. Like it's, I'll there's one, like this is usually like a bachelor party situation or like four guys together situation. There's always like for many times, not always. 
very nice, right? Like, I, you know, like, you know, you don't say that, but um, there would be like one guy who's just like talking to you a lot, you know, but it doesn't, it could just be a con. Is like, quit hitting on her. And then it's like, oh, like, I'm 19. And like, oh, you're a dad. <laughs> like, was that him? Like, or, like, was it not? And then it's ill on the other guy. It you know? so it's just like, why? It's like, it was well, immediately sexualized in a lot of situations that like didn't. Like, that was definitely not my vibe at all either. Um, so just like, yeah. I mean, mm. and then as time. That got to be that got to me more you know the first year it was like oh yeah i gotta make tips bay <laughs> kind of aka just like take it you know <laughs> like don't be weird about it but then <sighs> when i was like now 21 i was like just rude this job anymore it wears on you mm. after it's it's time you know what i mean sorry longer shorts at one point and like this wasn't like a tip situation i had these perfectly fine like j crew chino shorts right uh check how short could those then, have been yeah they that's were, like they were, perfectly they were like, average you know, a, a, <laughs> like nothing weird about them and then that's actually got weird too the um lady did our head out for me she like hated me <laughs> so, um i don't know why and she decided that she was Their name. technically like up to code they weren't company issue so they knee-length like grandma dark not just like <laughs> long shorts like short and well made would have been fine but they were like that heavy heavy like uh, like khaki kind of like it's the dark uh, khaki mm, it, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah yeah it fits yeah. so poorly like it looked so bad do you have yeah, any pictures you know, i was like ah i doubt it but maybe i can look around but i shorts so much so then i would always get yelled at for wearing the different shorts and like my manager went like on me about this you gotta you gotta wear the shorts Gwen. oh no and the way it made it weird is that one of the guys at the club like when i had shorts he's like what's up with those shorts the other ones were much better and like it wasn't in a way that was like <laughs> thinking it which was like more you know like fashion forward for me damn it you know so uh, that's so I'm, I'm, it has been to like you know <laughs> yeah besides like what what can be what can be done what 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 is to be done you know like besides declaring like martial law and deleting all men from golf courses like what <laughs> what what how do we how do we fix that issue i don't know Wait, like it's not golf specific right like Haley, you've worked in a ton of restaurants not... how many times are people so weird to you yeah. like it's like women in service positions a lot of times there's a, there's service. so much weirdness like, even in my day-to-day -day life and work it happens i mean it's just it's just <laughs> everywhere so it's not even about deleting them off golf courses i think it's just about not having shitty people out there mm. i don't know how to yeah. eradicate those um but uh yeah i don't know i feel like in my vision of hopefully what will become the Gruder Golf Golf Course someday, you know, we just won't have assholes that come out. Uh, and also, it will always be men that are uh, the cart boys. So, yes. That's how you fix yeah, why, it. Is you yeah, don't the have other thing, girls. I think you have to. job. You know what I mean? Like, why it's is true. it always. It's true. That's like a weird thing. Yeah. Kind it's just of, so weird. You know? Yeah, like, yeah. It I've shouldn't never be. seen a male uh, cart man. No. Yeah. Have you? I'm never. Yeah. And I'm like a little upset about how shocked I was from seeing it. Because mm -hmm. you know you're so. What, do you just double take? You're like, is that a is that a woman yeah, with short hair? It's a cart what? What's happening, boy? And like, <laughs> like and I tipped them. And like, it turns and, out men and, men and nothing can... is weird about our interaction. Like, yeah. Like Justin right. actually performed the job admirably. Right. I, don't, I don't know why. <laughs> there was nothing weird about like our interaction the weird part is my on taking him in like sure mm. that is huh that is something <laughs> i think i think dude should have to do that like right? just to yeah. get it take i think if you if you haven't worked a service industry job if, like if, there's something wrong yeah, yeah. yeah. yourself in a service i think 
Well, one thing that just made me think of, I feel like a lot of restaurants and bars, they'll do like a rotating shift where every person has to like work one shift in every position just so mm. that the servers know what it's like to be a busboy. The busboys know what it's like to be a bartender. The bartenders know what it's like to be a server or host, hostess, whatever it is. But of course, it should do the same thing. Just to have so, some fucking yeah. empathy, right? Like right? this person is putting up with so much shit every day and has to deal with assholes in every single department. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, like, it's not only the people on the golf course. I'm sure the people within the golf course themselves, maybe Jenny, you can speak to this with HR yeah. having it out for you. They just looked down on the I think that was just personal. Like, oh, you, guys, you guys are indispensable. Oh, it was a personal thing. I don't know, honestly. But, uh, Earlier that summer, I had a nail polishing incident as well. And then at the time, I also had a note of those, so I have to take it out. And so I, it wasn't the shorts weren't my only infraction. Sure. But mm -hmm. I thought that all the infractions were just, you know, they weren't hurting anybody, right? Like one time, my nail polish was like on the. I was like, "What does that matter?" It was ridiculous. What? So, like, are you are you, you uh, in the uh, British royal family that you have to have specific nail it, colors? Right. Wow. You're all girls. So did you so did you work at Disney World? Like, what? well, I am assuming this was in like puritanical <laughs> Massachusetts, in which case it checks out. Uh, it just it doesn't make any sense. It was like the HR. You also had to go to like a two. The funniest thing in the world, actually, because they had all these J one European college kids, or actually not even just European, mm -hmm. like from all over the world. And every year there would be like a different nationality represented so like you had like the irish kids one year you had the jamaican kids one year you have a lot of eastern europeans who are fascinating people and like crazy like very crazy very um <laughs> like very like techno they would have crazy parties um and like do some shit too you know what i mean like they'd grown up in a lot of um <laughs> that show that you could tell Wow. That shit very, aged very, then. <laughs> it seriously did. They were like, we're just. Like, I don't care. It's like, I shouldn't either, honestly. It's a great <laughs> outlook. You're like, I'm, I'm 17. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow could be wow. it for me, you know? So. You gotta follow the same rules and stuff. But yeah, it was a long, it was a long process. But yeah, so I, I don't even know where that even came from. <laughs> I mean, it was, it was kind of like the first, first couch session of yeah. uh, the show. I mean, I'm we, we I'm glad we went there. We we like to we like to open it up to the guests and say, you know, what's on your mind? Where 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 are you at right now? And and you know, that's that's what came out. So here we go. And with that, we, we say thank you for really sharing. Careful yeah. of doing that because this could be a four-hour podcast. <laughs> really, I, mean, I think they just learned that. <laughs> so let's let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> That, I, I think that 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 fits right in. That's that's that is a, a golf demon, really. Yeah, that's that's definitely a golf demon. That I Things have. taking four like, hours long. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that because of <laughs> things taking four hours. I think because of like playing golf, which was just like super, you know, like very male dominated. Like I always say, when I ever saw like four women, you know, around the age that I am now, out together, like ever, that was never a thing. Right. So it did give me kind of a sense of like what like baseline, you know, like baseline resort golf is, I guess, at least like it was like kind of a country club. Um, but just kind of like who are golfers, you know, and like. It mm -hmm. So kind of, you know, kind of. So we stayed away. We do that. We all do, you know, it's like, yeah. let's make golfers Definitely. look little. All these people. Mm -hmm. Well, when we pull up, golf looks different. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah. it's great. I, I was, I will say, yeah, I, I haven't, I still haven't seen four cool millennial female identifying golfers in real life yet in my lifetime. Not, you know, on Instagram, on, on social, yes, but well, go am to I local? Am I, I, I need to. <laughs> I absolutely need to. Honestly, it's we need to go to a business. weekend warm up. Yeah. I mean, you I definitely think we do. should have had you down, Drew, for the uh, Chicago event we did in September. I but... almost came down for that, and then it was it was a busy month. We were moving and and such, okay. but um, you know, what? otherwise I, I would have been there. I would have been. We're there. looking forward. We'll get you there in 2022. We'll be back. <laughs> yes.
Well, hey, we could share one. Okay. Okay. The the storm that we did. Like two hours. Oh, easy. Yeah. Light work. That's not bad at all. Yeah. We also we kind of made. No, I seriously was thinking about coming down. In. So. We did. I mean, I think so. Brad, you're in Palm Springs right now. I am. So, I'm, so I'm we're going to be there all t- next year. March. For the last ANA. Yes. Yeah. Like, we're going to manifest this. <laughs> yeah. We we put it on the calendar. It's it's on my calendar, <laughs> listeners. So here's yeah. what. Um. So last year, uh, or not last year. Okay. Sponsor of the ANA is switching. It's it's complicated. I have never said it out. Before, I guess. Um, <laughs> I mean, no, talk about demons though. It sounds very demonic. The new yeah. the new sponsor, right? Demonic sponsor, um, Chevron. <laughs> we don't really know anything specifically bad except for like all that they did in the Amazon, which wasn't good. But then, but anyway, um, oil just like kind of has a bad <laughs> Um But mm. so they're switching sponsors to them. So the last uh, time that. I don't thought, like I just referred to it as the ANA. I guess it's the old Dina Shore place at right. Mission Hills Country Club, in, like somewhere in you know Palm Springs. Um, so it's the last time it's gonna be there. The last time they're gonna jump in a, plant, which actually I'm actually wearing a bathrobe right now in honor of. I was just gonna say you're very <laughs> un, unthemed. Oh, <laughs> I was see, manifesting. Was like a spot. Like this plays in perfectly. Um, so we think that we all need to go and. <laughs> It's a place that people are really obsessed with. It's like the longest running uh, LPGA tour event in history. Um, so, and it will be the. I don't think they've officially said they're going to move it, but they said they're thinking of moving it to Texas because that's where it's like 2,000 employees or something. So, oil. Yeah, check, checks out. Oil, oil country Texas. over here. Yeah. 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 I don't think we have anything else about that. Yeah. We'll be there. Yeah. And I think I. We just got to hit up Molly. And- Mo- we're Molly? Gonna take, we're going to take Molly at the... <laughs> the <laughs> no, no. I was like, oh, okay. Like, what? Uh, we'll okay. go. This, no, is, uh, <sighs> this is a satire podcast. This isn't... This is a joke. We're all going to be rolling. The feds, no, if, if the feds are listening. <laughs> the LPGA will literally be rolling lo- rolling in their graves. Is that, is that a pun, Connor? <laughs> Yeah. Not do hard. No, the LBJ commissioner, Molly. She, we're gonna hit her up and be like, "Please, can we come and change?" Yes, uh, we're, not, we're all we'll messed be, up. Yes. That was yes. us. God. Y'all are sexist. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we'll be hitting up oh, Molly, the commissioner. Uh, yes. I'm That's roping good. everybody else into it too. Those are... <laughs> get, get, get yeah, I think that'd be fun. I think we should come into your tent or some sort of plan or something. You know, figure out how we can all get yep. on that, and you know. To all I, tent so that we have a really fun thing going. I think we should literally commandeer a tent, like roll up, like with bodies, and just be like, mm-hmm. get out. Just, oh, just I meant, like, pick, pitch a tent. pick the <laughs> bring one. I you oh, okay. Pitch a tent too. Oh. Okay. Yeah. It's at night. Put the banners up. It's just there. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, that's totally what I meant too. Yeah. Bar. Ooh. Yeah. I like yeah. it. Love it we're rattling off all the things that we would want in a tent at an LP and it got like out of control a little bit but I think a soft it got out of hand, so fun. But there's so much room for improvement and honestly the the sky is the limit really with uh what you could put in a tent to make it fun they True. haven't thought of anything yeah, exactly. really finally have one of my dreams which is to get like an animal person to... I knew you were gonna say um, animals what do you mean animal person explain <laughs> so okay it's like a, I remember, like a birthday party or something where they have like a reptile man comes <laughs> and pass them around. Oh. <laughs> so he'll bring like an yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. spider. Yeah. I, like yeah. also there's like people that come to a party. Recently right. for my day job, my sister and I did like a little community event and we got this thing called which was a pig and some ducklings and some chickens and bunnies and, and some goats. And it was really fun. It was a huge hit. It was only like 500 bucks. <laughs> We like just can't hours. allow any snakes. We can't yeah, allow no a snakes. single snake because no, fuck, that is fuck the snakes. Number That's one fear. I hate really? snakes. How- Straight up, Ooh. don't come at me. How I would never, honestly. How do they move? How snakes do you? Okay, gl- 
Glad we're on the same page. I think they're uh, wizards. The, I think they. I think they just demons. They the demons. Yeah, I was gonna say demons. this is a nice. Uh, this is a nice topic. Of- we're an anti-snake yeah. podcast. I'm sorry, snakes. <laughs> a thousand percent. Is Connor? That's your number. Unless one Brad. Phobia? Unless Brad likes snakes. Oh, hundred percent number one phobia. Like without question. <laughs> same oh, for me. Really? You're good on snakes. Black people and snakes historically have not gotten along, so we're good. Yeah, snakes. Snakes on a plane. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, oh true. We're good. <laughs> good. Good in any hood. We're good. Over, Wait, we're is that good all three here, of your <laughs> number number one phobias in the world? All all three. It's not, yeah. not, it's not number one. one. What's your number it, one? This for sure is mine. Number one is What's drowning. Yours? Oh, I was, mm, I was uh, thinking about that. Yeah. Cool. Like deep sea, deep. like yeah. deep ocean. Mm. Mm. Away. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. yeah, that might be mine too. I, I might have. You know what? I'm gonna reevaluate. I'm gonna reevaluate, and maybe we have a group golf therapy podcast separately where we discuss phobias. Yeah, yeah. phobias that can hours. happen on the golf course. Ooh, yeah, snakes. Yeah, snake. It's it's snakes then for sure. Snakes. Or snakes gators. Yeah. Hold up there. yeah, and gators. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. Do you guys Actually, know you know what? Snakes. I'm in New Orleans. I'm in like the worst possible place. To you're you're, you're for, in the for, for you're, tri- you're, tri- you're triangulating snakes and gators in, in at you right now. Wait, do you guys know about javelinas? No. no. Do, no. I, do we want shits. to? No. But I'm gonna tell Are you those that. a cross between gators and snakes? No, they're in the okay. rodent family. They're giant, oh, mean rodents. They're actually they might be out in Palm Springs. I don't know. I saw them in Arizona. They come out around dusk. And they hang out in packs, and they go straight to the green. I was on Arizona. Are those pink things, Haley? Yes, but they're mean and they're dangerous, they... and they will attack you. Fine, honestly, from no, far away, they're not, they're the not fun. They're not cute. They're ugly as brain. hell. Do you have them on your phone I, screen? You know what? I see one. But it's a peccary. No, That's another peccary. Nice. Nice. I see that as well. They are aggressive. It looks like they have very sharp Southwestern tusks. North America. And I'm seeing. I'm seeing it's a photo tussling. of one like with its mouth open, a jar, a gape, mm-hmm. and it looks like it's screaming. Mm-hmm. They make noises. Yep. They kind of look yeah. cute they, oh, as no. babies. They have scent know, glands they below. That's good to know. Which are used to mark territories. So from their eyes and their backs, they rub their backs. Well, wow. that makes sense because they are rubbing their backs all over the green. And you couldn't mm-hmm. play that hole. We had to keep moving 12 on. 12news.com. Javelina attack survivor gives advice to others. So, I'm telling you guys, that's my number one phobia. Well, this is a good podcast. (laughs) (laughs) We we really went off Jen's script. Jen did have an outline. We've gone (laughs) completely off of it. I feel like we we've covered everything, right? That was it. That was that's pretty much all we talked about. The animals. That's where we're gonna go. Yeah. Yeah, (laughs) I mean, I kind of had a feeling, you know, like this is this is the wild, wild west. Really, we said five people, not advisable, but it's kind of fine. Love it. I think it's, it's working. Yeah. Podcast, yeah. And plus, have hey, just on low expectations in general. Like things get a little. True. Go it is in my one of one of my 2022 New Year's resolutions slash goals is to like be more chaotic. So this is a good example oh. of that. Well, oh, more more chaotic. Okay. <laughs> oh, you think I'm chaotic enough? <laughs> yeah, what's an example like of being ma- more chaotic that you want to introduce into your life? I don't know, but I know I'll know it when it you hits me. Know, you know when I'll you know it, it. I'll know it when it happens. Well, I think moving to a different country will bring some chaos. That's a little so chaotic. A yeah. 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 Oh, definitely. Yeah. I think yeah, you're on the right sure. track. Okay. Thanks. I, I, I like that. Tra- I like that train of thought, sounding. though. Yeah. Yeah. I actually have a quick callback to the chaotic travel. We were talking about LPGA events and, you know, what we want to do in each city. We LPGA event cities. Well, for now, Connor, I know you're on the move, but I feel like each of us should be in charge of, I don't know. Like ambassadorship, to, yeah, and amb- yeah, yeah, mm. so getting people involved mm-hmm. at this LPGA event. The tickets, you guys mm. are. So- uh, I love that. Very- yeah. Yo, 
Yeah. I did the I did the Portland Classic this year and tickets were ten dollars. Yeah, the for tickets the are, no are ridiculously cheap. Oh, that makes yeah. me sad that they're that cheap though. It really bums me out. I, I pressed them on that. I was like, you should make the tickets more expensive to incentivize I mean, people bucks. thinking that it's a legitimate event, right? Like right? it delegitimizes <laughs> right. the event straight up. Don't you yeah. pay ten bucks to go to a high school basketball game? I think probably, probably more. Probably, you, you more, probably yeah. pay 15. like fifteen dollars to go to a college for the volleyball week is game. Is an insult to the players. Yeah, Agreed. the boosters yes. are that's ruthless. crazy, and it's part that's of the crazy. reason that the it's part of the reason that the 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 purses are so low. I have to yeah, imagine. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, yeah, it's like it's the whole mentality of if you build it, they will come. So make it a little bit more expensive, not cost prohibitive, but you know, put some right. value behind it. Ten dollars is too. That's too cheap. Yeah. Want more people there than like work with organizations to send people and like comp the tickets or something. But yeah. if you're right. going to the website and looking into how much tickets are, like you know, twenty five bucks. You know, anyone will pay twenty five bucks for anything. Right. 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 Well, the people that are going you know? and seeking it out are probably going to pay twenty five dollars. Like they are probably willing and able to pay twenty five. And then yeah, to what, your sure. point, you can find plenty of other people oh, to oh. discount tickets and give comp tickets to and all of that. Like, there's a way to do it. When you compare that to paying like one hundred and fifty dollars to see fucking Carrot Top perform comedy Ugh. in Las Vegas, it's Have like. You done that? Are you speaking from experience? No, I'm not that's speaking from experience. That's a very specific example. <laughs> Speak on it. I once went. To I'm not Vegas. speaking from experience. Of 2021. <laughs> I'm just saying that I saw an ad. I was. I don't know why I was targeted, but uh, like Instagram targeted me for this ad to go see Carrot Top perform live comedy. I'm using quotation marks in Vegas and it was $150. And I was yes. like, I literally made the, I was like the Portland classic, like world's best golfers are playing for $10 a day and you're getting like eight hours of entertainment versus 75 minutes of this dude, like shouting at you. It's, it's, it's barbaric. Car- Carrot top is Jack though. Now he's looking, he's looking good uh, from I'm the so, body down. Not I'm the sorry. face. Are jokes any better? I have to assume he's using all old material. <laughs> jokes are probably. I'm going to remind you. I didn't go to the show. I don't know. <laughs> Connor, I feel like you did and You just don't want to come clean. So we'll take this offline. <laughs> yeah. We don't have time. We don't, we don't have time to unpack all of that. Yeah. Carrot top. Ugh. Not enough shrinks in the room. Now that would be now that would be a chaotic move if I went to a carrot top show. So maybe yes, I should do that in 2022. Chaos. All right. 20. Honestly, Connor, okay. I feel like I advise you on a lot of chaotic things. I think maybe I can just start like I'm doing throughout the day, and that can be some of your inspiration. I think <laughs> Leslie might be to like to be like less chaotic <laughs> because no, <laughs> yeah, I, I actually I'm tired, tired being chaotic. <laughs> I love this idea, like Jenny Jenny Coco, chaos counselor. Oh, that's ooh. Good. I think we have something here. You gotta, yeah, make that handle. You see on a Liberty Insurance commercial. Liberty, Liberty, Liberty. All right, we'll we'll explore this. I mean, I'm I'm in. Um, Looking up, actually, were the tickets? Chaos counselors. Chaos (laughs) counselors. Yeah. If they already exist, there's a market. It's a tenured profession. (laughs) Yeah. No, I, I like I like that train of thought. Um, does anyone else have any any uh, any goals for twenty twenty two that they would like to share? Do you? Other than being less chaotic, I feel like I haven't even had a chance to slow down enough to think about twenty twenty two yet. I'm honestly shocked that it's December. That's weird. Yeah. Um, like I'm very confused Ooh. that it's twenty twenty two. I feel like we're still in twenty twenty in a lot of ways, mentally, spiritually. Um, <laughs> So yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I think less chaotic would certainly be one of mine uh, to steal from Jen. Maybe to some extent, I moved around a lot during the pandemic. So I'm kind of going the opposite way of Connor in, in terms of uh, rooting myself a, a little bit more, at least. Um, and I don't know. It's always going to be getting better at golf, which seems to never really work. It's in my, uh, <laughs> my New Year's resolution now for six years and uh, not much to show for it still. You've definitely but, gotten uh, better. Uh, I don't know. And, you, honestly, and you'll I have your new sticks, Haley. I think. I know. Ooh. I know. Be what drives you, you know, to to really improve. I mean, like I, I said this all the time, but I need. I still haven't got my lesson yet. That's a confession. I've been talking about getting oh. a lesson from Lee Yang for 
uh, a lesson. Uh, or a lesson. Huh? Just a lesson. Taking lessons. Well, but you need to start with one lesson. We need to start practicing. We've, right. we've been saying practice is an important thing that we need to incorporate into our golf games because we can't expect to get better by just talking about it, turns out. Um, so. <laughs> how, how how long have you been uh, working on this goal, Jen, of of wanting to get a lesson? We'll be your accountability partners. August 2020. I did text him. I think I have his number before that, Haley. I, like, when I met him at Solana, like, I texted you before about getting a lesson from you. But then, like, this is a scheduling thing, too. So it's not like an online thing. It's like... Hmm. Mm-hmm. I last texted him when I was, I think, on my way for the weekend. And then... Um, and I didn't do it, so... <laughs> There's always time, though. Two things, you know? Maybe it's, like, start fresh next month. You know what I mean? The holiday... Would yeah. you take an inside lesson with him, though? So I think that there's, like, you're inside the bay, but you hit outside. Oh, uh, cool. So it's like a more mm-hmm. situation. I actually know. That's the other thing. I don't really know where it works out of, like, whether, like, that's, you know, up for, you know, I don't know. But is this a soft season as well? In January. In the UK? Is he in the UK? Does he teach at the Belfry? And... Is it Rick Shields? <laughs> no, this is he. He teaches <laughs> out of uh, Rick Shields. Maybe I just need to get a lesson from Rick Shields. Actually, oh, we could all use a lesson from Rick Shields. Uh, we can make that, that happen. <laughs> yeah. Wait. Did you guys? Yeah, did, did you guys? How, could you guys possibly get a lesson with him? For... Now you're oh, like, sure, sure. Yeah, we can we do should, that. We, we should. We should make that content. That would yeah, be cool. I mean, I something, I'd something to it. consider. Or next year, so Rick. I, I I did hear that people are talking. Well, about Connor, that. you're going to be over there soon. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I'll, I'll make in person contact and and yeah. try and uh, take a trip up to. What, he's at Manchester. Meet him up in. Yeah, he, he liked that Barnsley. <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> loved that. Yeah, that was a deep cut. Um. Yeah. 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 He. Yeah. We can do that. Um. Brad, what goals do you have other than uh, be scratch? I need. Um... <laughs> yeah, that's, that's all <laughs> time like that's consuming. Good. Yeah. And y'all. <laughs> what else? <laughs> yeah, impress me. <laughs> my swing coach met him, had just come back from back surgery. And I just wow. learned that he now tore his Achilles. So, Ooh. I'm, I'm I in the market for a new <laughs> um, Damn. Yeah. Uh, I mean, honestly, uh, goals for, for 2022 is just consistency. Consistency in the gym, consistency with my rest and my eating habits, consistency with productivity, like organization. Because I, I, have, I have spells where, like, these things are great, and then I stop doing them for and then they're great. So consistency. Hmm. That's good. I like that that one line summary or one word summary. Yeah. Be impeccable with consistency. I want to take that one too. I'm gonna. Yeah. It's kind of a cousin of less chaotic yeah, in some ways. No, they're they're cousins. <laughs> they're cousins. They're close cousins. They are. They. It's, they're it's the flip side. Really... On the flip side of chaotic is consistency. Yeah. It's the the kissing cousin. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I know. I I think I, I blame a lot of things on on Leonard, but when I got a puppy in April, hmm. reason <laughs> so chaotic for some reason. Was... Can't imagine why. <laughs> and yeah, I I was woefully like underprepared to get like I didn't. <laughs> I, I, it was much work as it was. Um, care less too. I thought I'd be like, oh, I could just leave them like whatever. Like dogs are fine. But, like I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> and I thought that I would be. With the training and the schedule, mm. I just kind of want to bring mm-hmm. them with me, and I do. Is your? He's actually not my phone. Brown is on this photo of Jason Momoa and Lenny Kravitz. So, it, in a way, yes, because <laughs> it off. looks like I took that at a wedding. Kind of, it's I saw that picture. Funny. A lot of people sent me this picture. I'm photo. sure a lot of the listeners have seen it. It's like just they're at a wedding or something. 
my mom oh. was giving like a casual shaka. It's just a great photo. I immediately was like, I want to see this. Well, that'd be better. Name uh, uh, and now you do. Active Hollywood family. Oh my really? god! I mean, like also just like a better example of just how to get along and get over right? your um, Wow. And just Zoe's coexist so cool. and support. Actually, one happy belated birthday to Zoe. All... <laughs> yes, happy her birthday belated. recently. I missed it. Damn it! <laughs> oh, you didn't get invited to the party. Shit. <laughs> Drew, did we hear your uh, your goals for next year? I think you oh, picked okay. us up on this. You didn't I did. go. Um, okay, goals. I would say as the as the resident father and older person of this podcast trio, I I I love the idea of of trying to have a less chaotic life, but having a four year old and an eight month old um Whoa. it's uh chaos is just in the name of the game when you have children oh, yeah, um, you're in it. so i think to to try and help my own mental health i i'm i'm planning to try and say no to more things and learn that that like saying no is is okay um and my other goal would be to write more um mm. because i feel like that's something that even if it's just journaling like writing for myself uh that's just it's really important to get that out of your head and onto paper and that's kind of my own therapy so other than also therapy so yeah write more and say no to more things i love that and be more be yeah be more intentional those are great saying no is really hard yeah yes (laughs) yes it is (laughs) no it's not (laughs) yes (laughs) yes no and we've we've talked about that a lot on our yeah. on our show um mm-hmm. with like with ourselves and and i'm sure that y'all have experienced this because the the three or four of you each have like full-time jobs on top of career golf right so taking too much on is probably uh at least for us just speaking speaking for us it's a it's a real thing and that like it's very draining so you have to have to learn how to say no that's tough yeah. We uh, we learned time. that the hard way, I would say, this fall because we, I mean, we planned it ourselves, but we planned a very uh, <laughs> couldn't say no to ourselves back fall schedule. Yeah, I couldn't say no to the ideas that we were coming up with. Um, <laughs> and yeah, by the end of October, we were just all running on fumes, and you know, we were very excited for our own off season, which we're in now. But uh, mm. yeah, I would say we're taking that into 2022 as well. Like that's part of wanting to talk about all of the LPGA events now is to know that we have these mapped on the calendar and how to map everything else that's going on in our professional, personal and golf lives, uh, sort of around all around the LPGA events really is the goal is to, uh, to structure everything else. But, uh, yeah, it's, it is hard to say no, but, uh, I think with age, you just get better at doing it. It's just, I don't know. There's always something. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that now, because had to be, like making plans for what we want to do. I think at the beginning, active to just like uh, opportunities coming in and just taking them and, and you know, all that. Not, like I wouldn't, you know, change a thing about that approach. Like people well, I think did like a lot of like, funny, interesting things and, you know, some weird things too. Um, <laughs> and I think it all we end up getting out. out. But like now that we have like kind of a plan for what we not, instead of just being like, you know, no, with no reason, it's like, oh, like we've got some other things going on. It's not that we don't want to do these things, you know, that people are offering. It's like, there's just nothing. Like, it's just mm-hmm. not there. The hours of the day, not enough because they want to do it all. Mm-hmm. Okay. What we need, what, what we, what we... <laughs> I said, what we need is we need, we need that, uh, we need that that uh, investor that that media conglomerate to say, "Hey, Gruder Golf Group Golf Therapy, we want to pay all eight of you, seven of you, like six figure salaries to just do what you guys are doing, and then you don't have to do whatever else you're doing. You can just you can just do this. So if that if that this, if that this person's is an open there, call for anyone who yeah. wants to come in with Not six figures. <laughs> Here we I'm are. Just, conglomerates. Just conglomerates, if you're I mean, listening, hey, you got to talk yeah. about it. <laughs> yeah. At 
all conglomerates. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just send this episode to a bunch of people. Yeah. Maybe wow. Just yeah. clip it right there. Yeah. Well said. <laughs> every, every, so, like... every, every podcast should have a call to action. <laughs> and a cry well, for help. <laughs> not all the time with like all of this, like, you know, all the, like the. It's like wild things happen all the time. Like what's to say that's not maybe even a possibility. Like, I don't know. Like you never know. You never know. There, at least I mean, I mean the the whole reason that Connor, Brad, and I are, are are together doing this is because of, of the internet and because of social media. So, I mean that that's that's really why why and how we exist and and how we grow and 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 meet great people. So, I know that was actually this, on my list. Really, can you yeah, tell, really can you tell our listeners about being together? Because I think it's like an interesting item interesting number story. two on the agenda. <laughs> We're on item number All right, two and now, now we. <laughs> Now we begin. We've we've passed the intro, yeah. and now we're going to begin. We did schedule. <laughs> we did schedule five out. We did schedule five hours. So I think we yeah we were right on track. <laughs> Miss tracking. Um, group golf therapy. It it started with outside of uh, the three of us. Brad, Connor, and I all existed online on Instagram specifically, creating golf content in in various avenues um and we started talking individually all three of us and that that friendship quickly formed and this was spring of 2021 yeah, spring march. of this year february yeah. march so yeah spring of this year 2021 um, I found, I think I first found Brad when he, he put out his first deer golf video. And right after that, I, I DM'd Brad and was just telling him how impactful that was to me and, and my own journey on golf in golf. And I pitched him and said, Hey, would you like to make a podcast with me? <laughs> um, and yeah, Brad. Like, what, what? What? Yeah. I was like, "Wait a minute, player. Hold on." <laughs> I was like, yeah, it sounds great. Um, I don't know what that would be like just yet. So, like, let me get back to you. <laughs> yep. But yeah. You know. Um, but but Drew, and Drew's I was. Nah, we can't. Nah, Connor. We gotta give Drew his flowers, yo. Drew. Drew spoke this into existence way back when. Drew was thinking podcasts when the rest of us were thinking. <laughs> were thinking, but Drew was thinking podcasts, um, right? And I, I like I was scared. But I was, uh, I I wasn't sure what I really wanted to say. Uh, my issue off in these videos and mm -hmm. my means and all that. Like I don't know. It turns out I do. Um, <laughs> and, it's always more. Uh, and and uh, and after that interaction, Connor reached out very shortly after and was like, "Yo, you're. Do you want to write for the Bag Bandit? Like, do you want to do a thing?" And I was like, "Yeah. Give me just give me a minute. Like, let, let me think about, about it." <laughs> um. And I think we were like, yo, I was like, yo, Connor, do you know Drew? And like, Drew, do you know Connor? And get the same thing. Like, yo, do you know Brad? And quickly formed, which led to him live. Um, the group, yeah, the group golf therapy you know and hear today started as an Instagram live show. Um, immediately after Instagram introduced the four person live, uh, we tested it out on our and um, shout out mm -hmm. to Christine Fraser, who was our first yes. guest. Legend, <laughs> yep. I love her. wish I could have been there. Um, <laughs> no, you know what, you know what it was, you know what it was though. Like, I, I um, yes, that's like factually all very correct. Um, <laughs> like, I, I, oh. I think the, the three of us were having conversations in separate lanes but driving at the same speed on the highway, right? Like that, that's, that's sort of the, the image that I have in my mind. It's like, we were, we were, 
we were like going. That's, that's, I love that. Very we're going the same way. He's, he, he's the writer, so I mean, very fast and furious. And and yeah. I think we like if to carry the metaphor. I think we all like did that thing where you look at the the person next to you and we're like, oh, like I see you, see me, and and I think the we saw each other doing the things that we were doing and having the conversations that we were having and and making the stances that we were making and and i think that plus the the like very tangible love that we have for each other um as realized through our initial group text manifested in a way that like i haven't really felt before as a as a creator, as a, as just like a, a, a person really. Um, and I think we all came to the sort of like simultaneous conclusion that this relationship needs to be shared with others so that they can find something like that for themselves. And I think putting that over the lens of golf is really impactful for, for some people. And, and we've gotten that feedback from our community thus far is that like, People are hungry for, and 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 I'll say this: like our show is for everyone. But I I, I also want to say we're three people who identify as as men who are also like very emotionally vulnerable in golf, and that's not something that's very common um, thus far. And so I think like there there's a lot of men in golf who are like, wait a second, I can tell my best friend that I love them and share with them and be vulnerable with them and. Um, and ask them how they're feeling and and mean that and they really mean it yeah right and so i think that's what the three of us like saw in each other that potential and and saw that we could like impact other people through those types of conversations so and that's like it. all conversations wow. that you can and should be having on the golf course right exactly mm-hmm. yeah it's it's the wonderful perfect, uh, venue for it. <laughs> yeah yeah I saw a meme the other day that was like, and it it made me, it made me like it, it was one of those uh, one of those memes that made me like laugh really hard and then like start to cry. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, it was like um, uh, that moment you realize that golf is just men's excuse to go on walks with each other, but not yeah. express other. Things. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. I'm butchering it, uh, no, but sorry. like, but that's yeah. that's the mm-hmm. joke, and I was just like, wow, fuck, like that is that's so real and there's just not a culture thus far that have that has been given to men to to embrace one another and and like i just i just i don't think there's enough media out there that explores the relationships of platonic male friendships and that's what the three of us have in fucking spades and i love these guys so much i feel like i would argue there's no media out there (laughs) yeah yeah but uh, yeah, no, that's, that's not that we're aware of, at least, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's certainly not enough. So, no. Yeah. I mean, like, wow. I first of all, that's just you all found each other. Well it's like cosmic brothers. Um, yeah. Yeah. It, it's, it's true. Like, such a touching tale, really. Um, what kind of ties? You know, at the very beginning, when you guys were saying, like, what do we do about you know people harassing the car girl? Like you're, I think you guys are doing it. It sounds like it sounds like you're kind of like, you know, hey, you, like, you know, fighting against toxic masculinity, which is kind of what's. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's I mean, why golf is ruining itself. It's you know. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I, I, I wholeheartedly agree with. Thank you for saying that. that. Um, I like to say we're putting the medicine in the candy. Mm-hmm. Virtue of. Uh, the men that listen to our pod. We hope that the conversations com- make their way onto, will then make their way into their homes and make their way into their group yeah. text and make their conversations that they have with one another everywhere. Like, I, I think that's the, if they're, well, aside from tears being the metric of success, <laughs> we, we hope. Those conversations are happening of success of our, our show. Yeah. Uh, we just hope that people are listening. Yeah. That's wonderful. It's really making me think that, you know, Jen, Kiki, and I need to be nicer to each other. 
Uh, I'm going to be nice. <laughs> I'm, I'm just right here and now to actually be a lot nicer on the podcast, on air at least. Well, we can <laughs> act so however we want. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Golly. A, con- a conscious effort. I know that it's, it's really, it's really so funny. Like the ways like traditionally that like men and women have like experienced golf differently because mm-hmm. lends itself really well to women you know just like the way that like what like you know uh, binary but like you know just the way that like you know they like to get together you know and uh, i guess it's well, not no, I, I think i know what you're after i don't know what i'm trying to say but like <laughs> it's there Can i somewhere. try to say what you're saying yeah is there are so many activities and opportunities women have with one another to have those types of conversations, whether it's like the very stereotypical getting your nails done or you know going to lunch or whatever it is. Like hmm. I feel like there's so many opportunities that women have inherent in their relationships to have those types of conversations. And it's just obviously by nature too. Whereas on the opposite end of the spectrum, what you're talking about is, is men don't really have any spaces where they're encouraged to talk that way. And golf can and should become that for men the same way that it can and should be that for women. But like I said, women have all these other areas to do that in golf doesn't come to mind for them. So in, in both cases, golf should be the answer is what I'm getting at. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? For, for different ends of the golf spectrum. Golf is the answer. Golf, right. Like golf can be sort of in the middle for different ends of the spectrum that the, you know, men and women very binary to Jen's point, but yeah, yeah. Well, huh. that, but that's the that's problem though. A big problem with golf. Every part of it is so binary. Like there's no, like, Gender fluidness in it, like just so hmm. like every part of it, you know, from like you know the clubhouse to like the way that you know pro shops are set up to like the clubs, like you know, yeah. just everything. Hey, we have the forward tees at least. Uh, yeah, that's the getting there, tees. you know, <laughs> <laughs> right? I mean, I think like, what like, what is like tees out? We, absolutely, we got I mean, plenty. What, yeah. Plenty. One of the one of the biggest problems with golf is the fact that golf media is focused on the PGA Tour, the LPGA Tour, and that is based on score. You're looking at trying to win any given Sunday. So I love the fact that Gruder Golf is you're making not only golf accessible but and fun and like score is the last thing that people are talking about when they when they're recapping their, their time at a, at a Gruder golf event, it's like, this was amazing. Met some great people. We, we played golf, but that was, we weren't trying to, you know, set any course records. And, and I think that the more that we, as, as like we, as content creators, as people that are shaping how, how folks see the game, especially new people that um, have, may have never experienced golf, the way that, the way that we talk about it and how, yeah, just how we, how we share and, and and present it it's we're never talking about score right. that's the last oh, yeah. thing that we talk about whereas when you see golf on tv that's that's all they're talking about so and um, that's, yeah, where, that's that's what i love yeah. about what what you guys are doing and that's where that's where mind your golf comes from too like jen i i know you you pointed to that earlier it's like yeah i wanted to hear that's, about that i love that that's <laughs> what i think like that's that's what we're trying to preach if anything is like be be mindful of your your space in this game is like literally like mind the gap like mind your golf mm-hmm. um but then also like like in interpersonally like, or intrapersonally within yourself but then also interpersonally like what how are you how are you carrying golf into the world yeah. as a steward for the game um because we, you know, like we talked about earlier, when we talk about the fact that we work in golf, we have to erase the stigma immediately after saying that. Be like, yeah, no, no, but I, I'm one of the good ones. Yeah, like right, that shouldn't, right. that shouldn't have to exist. I've heard that before. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Exactly. Um, and those two are the same, unfortunately. Um, that that shouldn't have to exist, and I, I think that's that's sort of the message that we're trying to communicate is like, be mindful of the way that you're being a steward for golf. I used to go on field trips at like in elementary school. And I remember the, the chaperones of our field trip used to always say, um, before you little fuckers go into this museum, remember <laughs> that you're, you're representing, you're, you're representing yourself and the school. Mm. And I always thought that was really interesting. And I was like, okay, 
what if we apply that same principle to golf? Like every time you're on the you're on the golf course, yeah, you're you're like representing what golf is as a as a being, as like as an industry, as a um as a set of core principles and beliefs. And I I truly believe that yeah, we just need to be better stewards for the game in general. A thousand percent agree. Leave it better than you found it, you know? Like when mm-hmm, you show up yeah. to the course, you wanna like in, in my uh, um, sense anyway, like for the, those around who are enjoying themselves and I mean not, you're out in the middle of nowhere, but you're you uh, depending on whether you walk like you can see other people out there like you can see how they're carrying themselves you can see how they interact with other people if there is a car girl or car boy or car them uh you can see you know how they interact with people like that way like ah dude in the red polo you know chunked his wedge and then threw it into the pond like that is not being a good steward for golf yeah that's like you're perpetuating stereotype for sure yeah yeah of course like impacts the other people on the golf course a lot you know what i mean like if you're like playing up someone's ass you know not Man. saying four and almost like bonking someone off the head <laughs> no. or like messing up a card path or messing up a green not fixing divots of things that can like you know make it worse for somebody else if you don't like yeah Say that love again. it <laughs> that's, a, thing that's is, a bar too, i didn't know i didn't know <laughs> Chance got bars. I didn't know. I didn't know that. I didn't know how. Walmart on green for honestly too long. Like I, I thought that I was gonna rip up the. I was gonna make it worse. Mm. So that was always something I was nervous about. Um. Mm-hmm. But... Well, no one teaches you. No now. one. Yeah. No one yeah, teaches yeah. you. And if that's, especially that's if you're an adult. Well. Be... Right. In absolute, mm. like that's chaos. Right. You have mm-hmm. to learn something new to experience yeah. true chaos because you have no idea. Right. And you feel like you're getting in trouble a lot because you always feel like you're missing something. You usually are, and you're terrible at it too. It's so hard. I feel like a good, uh, a difficult. good like, a good like bit or sketch would be an adult taking golf lessons with six year olds. Maybe we should make that happen. I would love to do that. Actually, we 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 we've, we've got we've Wait, got friends you... with the first tee. We could do that. Oh my god! I... Oh yeah, oh Haley's god. we played with some first. Haley's <laughs> straight up. They were so much better than us. Wait, no, it, Haley says she here though. She said, "Can you hear me?" <laughs> Look, as I said, oh. am I? I said, "Where'd you go?" <laughs> I still hear. I can hear and see you guys. Oh, uh, <laughs> weird. Windows. She I, should. Uh, she should close. I, Haley, you should close I'm the just, window. Yeah, yeah. Close out and come back. Yeah, yeah. Talk about golf demons. Haley, welcome to the club. Yeah. <laughs> Haley's a demon now. So that's it. We don't write that. Uh, we're on. Uh, we're on demon time. Oh, man. Right. <laughs> I hear the rest of your prompts. I'm like, I, I'm eager to see what else. Oh my gosh. You had in store for us. We could like. We your, could like rapid fire sh- them. Jen, this so is we, your show. So. So let's see. We forgot to do our plug. We were gonna do a plug too, but we forgot. Okay, we'll we'll do a plug. Kidding. Well, oh no, wait, wait. Did did I did I tell you guys individually about the um cost? No, tell us about it. Oh, it wasn't no. on. It wasn't sure? on it. I'll do my Casa de Campo. Does anybody recognize that? No, what is that? I swear to no. God, that was on a commercial. Wait, wait. Like, I I think that that was. You're saying the the Casa de Campo. Casa. Yep. We're doing yeah, the plug. Yeah, we said it before I, we were recording. Oh, doing the plug. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, I'm I sorry. swear I'm to God. Go, go, <laughs> Ghost Haley's back. It's fine. That was a really scary. See, I, that's not nice. I I thought I was here the whole time, and then apparently I wasn't. So. You were in the in between. Jenny, yeah. carry on. Yeah. Go back yeah to you, the... you confused. Oh, you're like, I'm still here, and I was like. If you think so, then <laughs> well, I was like chatting, yeah. and, like laughing, and like saying stuff, and I was like, I don't think they can hear me. We we cannot. We we <laughs> we, we, we absolutely. That one. That's wild. Whoopsies. Haley, that was not um, very funny. 
<laughs> so I was just I was just plugging though because I um Connor asked what our well, number two I forgot to do our our plug which is that we have some very exciting things happening. First of all, actually, before we get to Casa de Campo, do a uh, giveaway to celebrate the launch of our brand new head cover collection with Jan Craig Head Covers, which is a Midwest um, icon. Uh, business handmade they're the cutest little things they're little gloves they're hand knit um they have these adorable pom-pom and the group off logo embroidered around there they're so cute good giveaway of them um tomorrow i think it's just gonna be a simple thing i don't know if we're actually thought there's anything funky to it i think we should do some following i recently tag a friend well, the tag a friend, but I saw something recently where they asked someone to comment, like comment as many times as you want, which I was thinking that could really boost the algorithm if we just have someone comment the same More thing constantly. over and over and over again. So I'm thinking we do that. That is our biggest demon. Mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. I think we do something like that where it's like comment as many times as you want and we'll pick someone from the comments mm-hmm. who has to be following okay. Jan Craig and Gruder Golf. Yeah. And maybe and group okay. golf therapy. Whatever. And group golf thing, but yeah, we'll yeah, yeah, we'll throw you guys in there. We'll be like, also, so, um, what, what, what are we contributing? Nothing, but just follow us. Yeah, <laughs> it should. So yeah. you said this is this giveaway is happening tomorrow. Is that December eighth, or is that the day after this comes out? I just want to know so yeah, I can. Well, enter. Gonna, I think well, we should let it run for a week. Yeah, it was gonna okay. run for a little while. Either. You're you're seeing the sausage get made right here and now. Like we're just like, yeah, we're doing a give. <laughs> yeah. Um, just read the caption, I guess. Um, this is what happens. Delicious. I was on vacation. We're left to uh, <laughs> off the rails. Sign for ourselves. <laughs> but she's like, "You did what while I was gone?" <laughs> yeah. Director of operations the goes missing. <laughs> is if you can't, um, if you don't win, we also have a limited very run for sale on the website. So if you're one of the first, hey. like you know, twelve people or twelve head covers, you know, some fairways, some hybrids, some woods for sale if you don't win and you really want one or if you just want to make sure you get one and you don't want to to win um and if you don't get one of those you can put so well, yeah. there's hmm. many That's ways got to get my these head covers over it because i've never won nope. a giveaway ever okay yeah. so you might be pre-order never territory <laughs> <laughs> and we, we said we're going to try our best to get them to you before no supply chain we've been hearing about it um no problem Swiss canal yeah. Our, our shipping girl's on vacation, so. Yeah. Be... How dare she? she gets back. Yeah. Not only is director of operations, she's also the high shipping. season. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right in the middle director of, of shipping. Season. Uh, no, but... but actually, our. This is one thing which is really fun, but we are also um, launching to our to non members our our trip, our vacation, spring break in Casa. In Putacana from Thursday, March 10th hey. through Sunday. All inclusive, unlimited golf. Um, we were asked last actually by Delia. Shout out Delia. Um, if you have to wear shoes in the golf course, I'm gonna go ahead and say no. Um, because it's a vacation, it's so they the will company. let you do whatever. Yeah, all That's inclusive. That's a great question. Yeah. Um, so and you know, it's late. Now, I mean, if we don't get enough ladies to sign up, you know, we might have to open the floodgates. Um, so female identity beings for now um and it's our first trip overseas we're really excited if you're interested head to grudergolf.com um all the details will be tomorrow i'm really envisioning this being like my holiday in the sun starring mary um, there's also an equestrian mm. center there there's horseback riding um i feel like jen away. might get lost and we might not be coming home with jen i'm which days like, I don't. I looked at the like list of all the things they have, and it's like I don't think there's enough time. You know, you know, it, would just kind of never, it would be. Yeah, oh, no. we just ran into the five-person yeah. podcast problem. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone tried yeah. to talk. <laughs> I got excited talk. about the horses. Everyone tried to tell a funny joke, and it just went fucking <laughs> belly up. Um, it was chaotic. If you, uh, stayed an extra couple days, just like. Well, That's against my I think you have to, but but maybe I will. I, I fly by the seat of my pants, which is why I'm chaotic. It's not chaotic if she plans now to stay a few yeah. months later. That's true. Yeah, you're good. That's true. You're Three good. changes on Delta. Not sponsored by Delta, <laughs> but 
They do say sponsor, sponsor the pod, but could be. Yeah. Oh my God, that. they could be our big money client. They could be. Our- Delta, Delta sponsor the pod. Crazy. What's good? For plus a. <laughs> um. So that's that was number two. Number. How did GGT come together? How did you all meet inside do podcast? Did that? Did that? Boom. Regular demons. I feel like we actually it. just covered these items regularly because demons um you know we're asking you know some things lately um i feel like everyone's kind of said some so far um yeah and then brad i was gonna say you know a thing that you do on, on your on your content and whatnot um has anybody care practices recently that they want to share with the audience because i think i want to hear what you guys do because i feel like you're probably pretty good at it Oh God! <laughs> Is that a hard one? I have a. I, I have bought a this morning. Bathrobe, this hooded terry cloth bathrobe, mm-hmm. and I spend as much as possible in it. I love it so much, so I recommend that. There you go. I'm doing the bare self care right now. Uh, it, but one thing that has remained consistent is my morning skincare routine and mm-hmm. evening skincare routine. That has remained and even through the, the chaos that has been the last um, since like release for golfers thing. Every day I get, I get a comment or a DM that series or one of those videos really dope. Like, thank you for sharing. I like to do X, Y, Z or like, I like to go and walk with my the dog. dog just by myself or leave my phone at home or like, just random stuff like just by virtue first. of putting it out in the world i've like tap in with some folks who like probably, probably. wouldn't otherwise have identified self-care as a need in their life mm. so, uh i i love that and i plan on continuing more of them when i can um prior care so <laughs> <laughs> don't believe everything you see on the internet yeah, yeah. Self care is at a low right now. <laughs> we're, we're, we're trying. Right. It's an uphill battle hey. right now, but it's trying counts. I, I feel like in yeah, December. I'm... Go ahead. No, uh, go ahead. I was just. Gonna... I'm, I'm really proud that I can say my skincare routine. Like, not, not only is it really important for like what I do in general, but. I mean, it's it might only be five minutes out of my day, hmm. mind, <laughs> but it it does give me a little something. Like I I can enter the world like feeling just a smidge feeling better, and then going to bed feeling like relaxed, soothed, cleaned. You know, it's hmm. nice. Well, I've got two. I got two things. First. Is there anyone you want to shout out on the skincare routine of who you're, of what, what products you're using? No. Who's, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> can, and then you know my I'm second fine. question, my, my second question fine. is when are you, when are you dropping the skincare routine on your IG? The skincare routine. I've thought about this for a while. <laughs> and what's biggest, it? My biggest do I do it seriously or do I just make it a joke? Do it a it's do it what's in the bag. Like, what's in, a, like what's, what's in a like what's in a dop what's in the dop kit? What's oh. in the dop kit? <laughs> but you can pull it out of your golf bag. That's so yeah, you're on travel, you're in travel mode. Yeah. Oh yeah, perfect. We could do a what's in the dop kit. Why? W- you know, this is this is great because this is a, an audio format, so we, we can just right. hold them up and then we don't. We, we need nothing else. Yeah. Yeah. So, mm, yeah. Yes. Very good. You can start with my toner. It's from uh, Biosense. Mm. It is yeah. pore minimizing toner, facial toner. Large Keep pores. those pores small. Oh. Mm-hmm. Keep them. Um. I'm the dog kit. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. <laughs> 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 the rest is in the show. <laughs> 
Toning is important. I, I'm gonna I don't even. Don't worry. I don't even. If I'm being honest, maybe some I'll, I'll YouTube it. Okay. Do you have a? It's do you have a PA. like a, a jade roller? I keep it in the fridge. You got you got the ro okay roller on. That's on that. Okay. Yeah. The roller on Frio. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's nice. I, I watch my face. Um, my my self care has been like pretty much thrown out the window the past month or so. I would say because of the move, I've left Portland, um, sold all my shit, just sort of driving across the country. Uh, I did, I did, I do have some more goals that I wrote down the other day that I'll I'll share for twenty twenty two. Number oh, one. Nice. Hmm. Meet Phoebe Waller Bridge. Oh my God! Wow, that's pretty, gonna happen. I feel pretty good about right? that one. I think like so the the end of my move is gonna be London, so I'm gonna be in New York for a few months and then London in like the second half of 2022. So I basically have like six months in London to meet Phoebe Waller Bridge. I think, I think I can do it. The second one is buy orange blossom think... hand soap from TJ's. Ooh. Oh, I. That one's Can, attainable. It's, it's more of a grocery list item, but. <laughs> <laughs> Mix of uh, 2022 goals and just things to pick up. But, I, but like, it is a goal. I don't have a house or hand soap, you know? Sure. Uh, mm -hmm. So it's like when I when I finally settle somewhere, that that is the goal is to, like, furnish the house it, with it's things representative, that smell good. Re representative of something else. That'll be nice. Right. And then my that. third third goal is eat more french onion soup which i think is also attainable hmm. in new york and london yeah and hey tis mm -hmm. the season you're in french oh onion my soup God. season mm, soup season yeah yeah i'm craving well, one right now actually me. sounds really good it sounds really yeah that sounds really good actually but self-care oh stuff self i said i have my robe so yeah. question Okay. Oh, is good. Rose good. Rose good. Do I have robe? And by my pug, I when I um, I try not to feel guilty when I'm just like laying on the couch with my dog. Uh, it happens a lot. It happens way more than I thought. He's very like if you sit down for a second, he will get right in your lap and he'll fall asleep. Extremely strange. But I've stopped feeling guilty about that and I've tried to just enjoy that because I for me. I love that Hard thing. Feel away from I highly recommend getting a pug. If you're trying to do some self care, the first few <laughs> months is chaos. <laughs> it, it's really gratifying. I really Just love. Just so them. everyone knows, Jen at eleven fifteen this morning sent me a, a a pug available in my area for adoption. So mm, she's, uh, that's so kind of her. I just so today. happened to be looking. I just yeah, I found you a pug. And who lived in New Orleans to bring it full circle was saying mm. that she wanted a dog, and I was like, "May I recommend getting a pug?" <laughs> she was looking at like adopting, and I was like, "I remember Emmett. Any dog, you know, you just need to be yeah. a little bit patient." So I was looking around. The pug in Dallas, and I said, "Well, that might be too far for Rachel, but perhaps Haley would like a pug." <laughs> and it was a little black pug, and he was so. I know he's really It'd be fun really if you adorable. named him Dallas. And it'll be funny while you live in Dallas. That is a great name. Yeah. That's a great name. Yeah. I know. I, I would love to have a little pup. I, I don't think it'd be fair to that dog, though, with our travel schedules and not having any family here to be able to, I don't know. I don't want to be like creating a dog every weekend and it'd be just a bummer. But yeah. Uh, I don't know. It, funny. It didn't really work out so well, but I, you should create. Well, I mean, um, I'm sorry. I mean, even I'm um, just like boarding him too, like on the weekend. Oh, yeah. Have family to drop him off with. You'd have to board him all the time, and that would make him sad. Yeah. Well, someday you could, you, you know, deal situation. So life is long. Ideally, um, hopefully, I want somebody else to get. Life will be long. Like they'd be like, "Wow, this was a great idea. Thank you." I will say I'm pretty open to different types of dogs. I have always pictured myself having like a medium sized to bigger dog, um, but I do, I do love a pug. He's a pug guy now, because I said, "Well, yeah. that's too bad. We're getting a pug. I mean, pug or a pugsman." Lenny is like the pug best man. looking pug there ever was. He's like a model pug. Yeah, look at He's this. beautiful. Unfortunately, I can say really nice about Lenny, but not Jen. 
Instagram for the past yeah. you know, since I got him. Basically, he's wow. Yeah. Shit, I feel like I that's, away. that was a trap. Really bad trap. news because he started. He got fixed last week. Oh. Um. So uh, yeah, I really can't like be studded. That term he can't be studded. Can't stud him out. No. Nope. Looked into it. That's why I know this is her. I was like, should Jen, I just read him? He's perfect. I was Repulsive. gonna say, I feel like that was short sighted. I know, but he was getting. Oh, he he's really cute. A little less testosterone. He was getting very protective of me. Like he thought, it does kind of. I think that he thinks that we're an item. <laughs> um, the street, like you kind of are. You know, getting. Oh no, where'd Haley go? Again. Oh no, she she Haley probably hears. She's she's right she's here. demon again. She's back in. Oh no, and she's in the metaverse. It. I like dogs that can that sit like humans, and I feel like he kind of does that. No, he has a lot of human like characteristics. He also does. Yeah. When you talk to him, he will listen to you and look you right in the eye, and the entire time with his head. Yeah, mm, I love that. So when he's like the dog, the just, dog lean. Yeah. It's very funny. He's very cute. Oh, I like no. I like pugs because I feel like they they can they can have energy when they want, and then they they can also be lazy and chill when they want it spurts so it's like he yeah. has a finite tank and he's not athletic for a pug but he's not like mm -hmm. you know a very athletic dog compared is he is he kind of big for a pug oh he's gigantic yeah he's 30 pounds. yeah i was just say I, I felt like pugs are like 15 oh, yeah like 15 yeah yeah okay no he i mean he's a sport good pug. for him good for him yeah that's pretty, pretty buff you know um, yeah what up what up thickness How's yeah I, I have a he's, he's fun. I have a cockapoo Breathing. and a schnoodle. Cute. A schnoodle. And That's my fun. cockapoo is much bigger than, yeah. My cockapoo is, like, cockapoos you think are, like, small, and my mine's, like, 35 pounds, maybe. He's a, he's a, he's more cocker spaniel than poodle. He's a, <laughs> That's he's a, a thick, he's a, he's a, th he's a thick boy, yeah. He's a thick boy. <laughs> yeah. And the schnoodle's oh, just terrible, that. so he's the worst. The schnoodle but, is very fun to say. Yeah, schnoodle. it is. It is. That's my schnoodle. I love it. Where, um, where's my schnoodle? He's gone. Let's see. He's gone. So yeah, I feel like we got much like all of my other lists. I mean, we didn't get to Saudi Arabia, but maybe. That's uh, <laughs> Let's is there anything else that we should Saudi talk Arabia. about before we wrap that can, up? That can, that can be that can be part two. That could be that could be after the holidays. You know, we we want everyone holidays. to have a. Yeah. We should maybe do a little bit of research to come back to that episode with maybe some context, but uh, I was looking forward to our rapid fire, like, let's make shit up about uh, what's going on there. But I think it's safer that we don't. Definitely. <laughs> How do we want to wrap this up, though? Does anybody have anything that, you know, they didn't get in that they wanted to wanted to contribute? I feel like this was fun because it was very stream of consciousness. Oh, yeah, it's chaotic as hell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's, actually, i mean that's how we that's how we roll so if you release this in the new year it will actually map to my resolution um <laughs> so this was good thank you for that no this was really fun i i um Haley, i'd never spoken to you before this was nice to meet you I know. Um, I'm sorry i missed the hangout the other week yeah um, hey, you gotta say no sometimes yeah gotta say no gotta sometimes. say no you gotta yeah, say no you gotta say no at kiki <laughs> Sometimes you have to be in St. Lucia for a few days, you know? Yeah. Do you think she'll listen to this? Will she listen to this? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Hi, Kiki. <laughs> Not I think that's how we wrap. <laughs> we just, each of us say um, something to Kiki. Okay. I think that's a good one. All right, Kiki. Uh, hope you're having a great time. Hope you're very tan. We missed you. Kiki, thank you for your friends, your last name, so that this podcast could exist. <laughs> and Gruder Golf can exist. Agreed. Ditto. Thank you, thank thank you, you Kiki. Kiki. Um, I don't know what it would take for us to change our names collectively to, to Gruder. I will find out. <laughs> Gruder Golf Therapy. Gruder Golf Therapy. I think that's it. Here's the, that, that, the that was Gruder Gru Gru Therapy. So. Gruder Golf Therapy. That works out almost too well. It does. Yeah. I think that's well, that, do, you, do you guys, what, what's your, what, do you do like a little, a little catchphrase? 
No, no, we don't actually. No, we don't. We no should. Wait, should we? How do we not? Should we? How do we, how do we not we do that? End off the intro with a, with a, with a thing. We end off. Oh, yeah, the, we, we end our intro with beginning. a thing. Yeah. Hit them straight yeah. and mind your golf. Yeah. And then we usually just fade to black. Yeah. yeah. Jay Z voice. Yeah. It's, yeah just, I mean, it's hey, it's nice for us to you know talk about our crafts. Let want, want me do our our outro. Do it. <laughs> yeah. Send us. Send us. And you can sometimes just say it right in the middle of a conversation. Hang loose, swing easy, and we'll um, see you out there. And then we bye. Like quietly, gotcha. and weirdly. Yeah. <laughs> the better, like a ghost. Yeah, like ghosts and demons. <laughs> wow. All right. What was that? Stop it, it Drew.